Boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today at the Yellowstone Art Museum. I'm here in Billings, Montana, and my name is Bess Lovick. I'm a volunteer here at the museum. I love art, and I love this museum. I hope you have a chance to come down here with your mom and dad, or brothers and sisters, or grandmother and grandfather. So, this is a big clay sculpture by Rudy Audio, an artist, and he mixes dirt and water together to make clay. So this piece, and this piece, and this piece, they were wet clay that he molded with his hands into these large shapes. And after he molded it, very carefully, he put it in an oven, a great big oven, bigger than the oven you have in your kitchen, bigger than my oven or microwave. And it was really, really hot. And it made this soft clay sculpture hard. And then he, after it cooled off, he took it out and it cooled off, then he painted it with these colors. The mud was not these colors. He painted it with a glaze and made all these beautiful designs. And then he put it back in the oven again so that the paint would dry. And so Rudy Audio made these pieces for his, through his lifetime. He made lots and lots of sculptures. So, we're going to read a book about mud today because I really like mud. It's fun to play with. Maybe you've played with mud after it rains in your driveway or in your backyard and it mixes with the dirt and it, it's messy. I know it's really messy. Some of you may have never played with mud, but maybe you've played with Play-Doh. So the clay is a lot like Play-Doh. You can shape it and then it dries. But now we're going to go across this big gallery and look at some sculptures that his wife, Leela, made. I'll see you there. So boys and girls, I moved to another part of the gallery so that you could see some sculptures by Leela Audio. Leela was Rudy's wife. And so she made these pieces out of cloth, and fabric. They're called fiber sculptures. I really, really want to touch it and squeeze it, but because I'm at the museum, I cannot touch the art. But I imagine she had a lot of fun making these. Bright colors, all twisted up, hanging from the ceiling. Both Rudy and Leela like to make big pieces of art. Great! big pieces of art. My granddaughter likes little teeny pieces of art, really small pieces of art. She's four years old. Maybe some of you like medium-sized toys and art, but you can see what Leela and Rudy liked, big pieces of art. So next, I'm going to read you a story about mud. It's really fun. I'll see you really soon. So now, girls and boys, I'm going to re read you a book about mud. But I need to put on my glasses first so I can see the words. Here it is. It's called Hogwash. And it's written by Karma Wilson. Let me open it up. One warm day in early May, Farmer had a plan to spring clean all his animals till each was spick and span. I need to tell you, I chose this book because my granddaughter helped me. She loves this book. Farmer fetched a pail and soap, put on his cleaning duds, then went out to the water spout and lathered up some suds. A pail is the same thing as a bucket. He washed the horses, 
ducks and cows, the goats, the cats and dogs. Everything went dandy until farmer reached his hogs. Now hogs is another word for pigs. Here's a picture of a pig. The pigs got out their toolbox and they boarded up their pen. No matter what, poor farmer said they would not let him in. And here the pigs drew a sign that says, no hogwash for us today. Pigs love dirt, so go away. Maybe some of you like to play in the dirt. And maybe some of you don't like to have a bath or a shower. Farmer scratched his head and thought, then said, here's what I'll do. Since these pigs have locked me out, I'll spray some water through. He dragged a hose up to the fence and turned it on full power. If you pigs won't take a bath, I'll give y'all a shower. Here's a sign the pig made. No hogwash, pigs don't scrub. We like wearing grime and grub. The pigs got out their umbrellas and put on rubber suits. They stomped through muddy puddles in their shiny yellow boots. They all dug in and made mud pies. They had a mud ball war. They splished and splashed and hammed it up more filthy than before. Farmer stomped his feet and yelled, you oinkers got me riled. They still refused to take a bath. Those pigs had gone hog wild. Oinker is a, another word for pig. Here the pigs made a sign. It says, keep your soap and bucket, bud. Thanks for making all this mud. Yeah, when he sprayed the water in the dirt, it made mud. And you know, Rudy Audio, the artist who made these sculptures, liked to play in mud, even when he was a grown-up man. Here the sign says, go feed it to the goats. Suey, suey, farmer called. That's what you say when you want to call a pig. Suey, suey, I've got some mash and oats. The pigs were not impressed at all. Go feed it to the goats. They don't even want his snacks. Farmer lied, it's the pizza man. I've got your pizza pie. The pigs were not fooled one little bit. Just leave it by the sty. The sty is where they usually eat. Farmer muttered, stomped, and growled. You're stubborn and pig-headed. The pigs just snorted with disgust. No hogwogs, just forget it. No matter what the farmer tried, they wouldn't let him come inside. Farmer pondered for a while. Farmer grinned a crafty smile. Farmer yelled, that's it, by gosh. Look out, hogs. It's time to wash. He has a plan. Trust me. I finally found the perfect plan. I know just what to do. The farmer filled his crop dust plain with water and shampoo. He climbed into the pilot's seat and set off on his mission. He flew above the pig pen, armed with sudsy ammunition. Farmer cried, it's washing day. Look out, piggies, bombs away. Farmer swooped to make a pass. Farmer's plane ran out of gas. Farmer gulped, the engine sputtered. Just my luck, the farmer muttered. Down the plane went like a rock. Look out, I'm going to crash. The pigs began to squeal in fright. Clunk, clang, bang, boom, bash. He must not have been flying very high because he jumps out of the plane and he's okay. I don't recommend that, but anyway, clank, clunk, clunk, boom, bang, bash. All the pigs are running away from him and the plane. Even his glasses flew off. I'm glad mine didn't fly off. All the horses, ducks, and cows, the goats, the cats, and dogs ran to help the farmer, and they found him with those hogs. Where is he? Oh, he's in there with the hogs. Okay. 
There was farmer soaked in grime, having quite a splendid time. He joined the pigs and made mud pies he's wallowed all around. He splished and splashed and hammed it up and rolled upon the ground. It's kind of getting into it. Farmer saw the animals and called out, come and play. The mud is great. Let's celebrate. We'll bathe some other day. From then on, Farmer never tried to wash his hogs again, but every other day he took a mud bath in their pen. So this farmer, just like Rudy Audio, the great artist, enjoyed working in mud and clay to wash himself. The farmer washed and splashed around, and Rudy made these beautiful pieces. This one has what looks like a person inside of it. Thank you so much for coming today. I look forward to seeing you at the Yellowstone Art Museum in Billings, Montana. My name is Bess. Bye now.